O'Neill, Sailor, Walker, Johns, Khan, Madison, Plath, Keating, Driscoll and Darren Smith, the 10. Gary Belcher on the sideline. Yes, and Wayne Collins from the Crushers tells me they haven't done any specific training for the Sevens, but there are some ex-Broncos in their side with plenty to prove. Chris McKenna, Craig Teven and Darren Plowman. For the Broncos, all eyes for the supporters will be on new recruit Darren Smith. You're going to have to wait a few minutes, though. He's starting on the interchange bench. And quite apt that Eddie Water, Queenslander, will have charge of this match. It is the local derby. The Broncos and the Crushers, it's the Broncos with a kickoff. And let's just see what these Crushers can do. With the ball is McKenna, a former Bronco. And already straight on the attack they go. Brisbane not coming up with the first up tackles in the first play of the match. The Crushers 15 metres out from their own line and already the first penalty of the game. It's a good start there from the Crushers, keeping the ball alive, working the ball to centre field. They earn a penalty now. Craig Teven will find touch 30 metres out from his own line. And a quick count. There's, I think, at least five players in this Crushers lineup that have had some time with the Broncos as it comes across. Ellis gets on the outside of his man, straightens up the attack. The tackle came from Julian O'Neill. They're five metres inside their own half, the Crushers. No score on the board. It might only be 14 minutes, but they'll be looking for some credibility out here, the Crushers. You see a couple of big names involved with the club. Andrew Farrah helping out on the coaching side of things. Mario Fennick will be one of their big guns through the 95 season. At all the football so far, the Crushers, they need to score here. Take advantage of what they've had. And, of course, in shot also the coach Bobby Lindner as Martin Lock, the biggest man in the Crushers lineup, goes straight through over the 20 and tackled 19 metres out from the line. They work the blind side. With the ball this time is Teven. He takes on the defence himself, then throws a pass forward. And Brisbane come up with the ball just five out from their own line. Very silly ball there from Teven. Didn't need to throw it. Willie Khan took the intercept. Great to see Khan back in action. Missed the kangaroo tour through injury. Wayne Bennett sitting down with his players. There you see Darren Smith, a big signing. A signing this year in the Canterbury Club. Could prove a sensation running forward. Out here in the game, many people's minds. In the meantime, Eddie Ward really playing it to the letter of the law. He's not letting either side get away with too much as the Broncos work it out from their own 30. And the tackle right around the legs was McKenna. He's been very busy in the opening three minutes. As up they come again, the Broncos. Madison, 10 metres inside his own half. And still they work the ball forward. Khan now throws the dummy on the left-hand side. Taken sideways by the defence of Sinjin Ellis and almost ridden into touch. A tremendous tackle there from Ellis. And it can't look like slicing through, but Ellis had the momentum. Left him towards the sideline as the Broncos now work to the far sideline. The dummy thrown by Madison, but well taken by Teven. Big chance if they want to spin it left, the Broncos. Elected to go for a dummy half play. Setting up again on the left-hand side. It is the last tackle, though. Do they kick the football here? It's John Plath. Plath over at the 20. He chips over the top. The cover coming through, but Plath wins the race to the ball ahead of the support player. That was Plowman. And the first try to the Broncos, four points to nil. A crucial part of the Sevens game is the kicking game. If you kick the football, you either must get it back through a line dropout or score. And John Plath, surprised that there was no cover there from the Crushers. It was the last tackle. The bounce was perfect, but really it was a pretty simple try there. It was the last, and Plath got the good bounce to score next to the posts. Julian O'Neill steps up to convert. And taking the kick from just six or seven metres out, the extra two points. The Brisbane Broncos, six, lead the Crushers nil. The Broncos runner-up to Wigan at the World Sevens in 1992. This is Martin Locke standing in the tackle, a drop ball straight up. I think it was the pressure of the defence coming through. Darren Smith was the man that forced the player to drop the ball. There, Craig Weston had a look at what was coming towards him. And it was travelling. Good run here from Darren Smith. The pass knocked down into the hands of David Krauss and let off there for the South Queensland side. Sensational start from Darren Smith. David Krauss, in the meantime, was the player playing the ball. The number three for the Crushers, Sinjin Ellis. Not looking to pass. He got away from one, but in the end lost five metres on the play. He's 30 metres out from his own line. Lock in again at dummy half. They come forward again, the Crushers. Ten metres inside their own half. And right side, they go again. It's Martin Lock getting through plenty of work. 
good inside ball and referee Eddie Ward ruling that the player had hold of the jumper before he received the ball. Darren Smith, the player, penalised. We talked about there's a bit of antagonism between these two sides. It's the little left run by Darren Smith. One of the support players was taken out of the play. No love lost between the players there and Smith. Good lucky. Oh, great, great kick there from the crushers. Well, a little lucky with the kick. It did bounce three or four times going into touch. But they did see that no one was at home. Big chance now. Plowman bringing it in field for the restart. The pass away to Sattler. Eastern Suburbs last year for Scott Sattler. Plowman in a dummy half across the line to Locke. He looks a, a fine ball player, this Martin Locke. Again, he slips the pass. Plowman through the gap. He, in turn, finds support in Sattler. They're still five metres out from the Broncos' line. Great tackle there from John Driscoll. Saved to try. Sinjanellis on the blind. Steps off the right foot. Throws the dummy. Straightens up and scores. Got away from John Flat. Carries Ben Walker over the line. And they get their first try. The Crushers in the World Sevens. It's Brisbane six. The Crushers four. And that will please the hearts of the Crushers supporters. Sinjanellis scored a lot of tries the last couple of seasons in, in England and I'll be hoping he can do the same in the Winfield Cup competition that's not a bad start shows some good skill there we've made a couple of tackles score wide out he's not a young man Sinjin Ellis 30 years of age but he's put in a big preparation for this year he's been out here since last August he misses with a kick and the Broncos up by two a minute out from half time Gary Belcher on the sideline. It's uh, good news for the Crushers players as well that they've finally got themselves on the scoreboard. Some bad news though, Chris McKenna is uh, pulled up sore with a hamstring and I doubt that we're going to see him back this match. And that could be bad news for the tournament. Of course they play one more match tonight. As the Broncos up to the 20, strong run. O'Neill struggling to play the ball, the penalty goes his way and Darren Smith would just about have been away from the try at a dummy half. It also works in the crushers favor a little bit here there's only 25 seconds left on the clock so we've seen 15 20 seconds wasted there instead of a full set of six we may only see three or four from the broncos o'neill steps inside crucial time here for the crushers just 12 meters out from the line you can see the goal posts as they come back center field again this time walker trapped in possession now 15 out from the line the tackler was wayne collins forward they go through driscoll a very capable fill-in for Kerrod Walters last year. This is the last play. They've gone to the right-hand side. There's numbers, but Smith throws it back inside, and they've kept them out. Great defence. Ben Walker was the player. Wayne Collins comes up with a loose ball. That is half-time. Brisbane, though, with the lead. They lead the Crushers by six points to four. We'll take a break and come back with more sevens action shortly. And Wendell Saylor with first touch of the ball for the second half. Can he get it back to the 20? Front on defence. Some swinging arms over the top. Teven was the first man there to meet him. He makes it up to the 25. Yeah, great run from Saylor there. Carried two defenders, 10 metres. A good first half between these sides. A lot of feeling between them. And only 10 points scored. That shows that they defended very well. Sean Keating, usually a front rower playing the ball. Darren Smith has been busy. Unloads to Khan. Khan with Saylor on the outside. He gets around Simons. No great tackle by Wayne Simons and into touch. It was only a good tackle, but the fact he was able to put Saylor over the sideline made it very advantageous for his side. Wayne Simons, of course, at Parramatta last season. Had a fair bit of first grade. Tackles like that, he may just find a start in the Crushers lineup much of the season. And Craig Teven on his way to the blood bin. Isn't there some feeling in this match? Sinjin Ellis over there to give a big pat on the back for Simons after the tackle. And I'm not sure whether we'll see Teven again in this half of football as the crushers win the ball with it is kraus from lismore the northern rivers of new south wales a prolific point scorer in that region as well and up over halfway they go the crushers with a big chance to attack on the left very quick, martin lock calling for it very quick out of dummy half is wayne simons needs to be closely watched closely watched by the brisbane markers cooked oh, locked as the ball comes away lock Take a look at him. He slips it out the back. They drop it back into lock. Could have been offside. He calls the knock on. And the Broncos will have the feed 25 out from their own line. That could be very costly not scoring on that set of six for the Crushers. A couple of new players coming on for the Brisbane team. Terry Madison and the captain, Chris Johns, into the fray. Been a bit quiet, Johns. Hasn't carried the football on many occasions. Willie Kahn. Puts the foot down. Willie Khan up to the 40. Ran away from his support. That was Wendell Saylor. Saylor goes into dummy half. 
and goes for a run himself almost around Kraus, then slips it back to Khan. He tries to stand up Singinellis. Kraus comes again from behind to complete the tackle. They're right on halfway. Across through Madison onto Platt. A man unmarked on the outside. Smith keeps it going with the ball. Is Johns gets round his man, then taken over the top again. It was Simons with a tackle. Did well, Wayne Simons. Forcing the man towards touch, but the Broncos spin it back to the right. It comes through Walker. He holds the pass up. He had Khan in support. He switched back inside. It was good defence there from David Krauss, calling his inside defender to take Ben Walker. They had an overlap with Madison. Throws a dummy. Good tackle over the top, and the crush is clean up. And great work again from Wayne Simons. Desperation to get to that ball first. He had two men on his outside. Two Broncos players, that was. Lock slips the ball out the back. Cleaned up now. The Crushers go forward up to the 30. With the ball is Plowman, the younger brother of Brett Plowman at Parramatta, of course, a former Bronco as well. As this is Kraus, now 10 metres inside his own half. The tackle came from Smith, Darren Smith. Wayne Collins gets out of dummy half now. This is the fourth settler. Martin Locke almost getting to the halfway line. Really need to score here. Three and a half minutes to go. Collins looking to promote something on the left side through Kraus. And now 35 metres out from the line. It is the last tackle. Collins across to St. John Ellis. The left foot kick. There's no one at home. Ellis should win the race for the ball. He needs the bounce. He toes it again. I don't oh, think he, he forced hasn't. the ball. He no. hasn't. Oh, and he's hasty. He won the race to the ball. St. John Ellis, no try. Oh, Bobby Linda can't believe it. St. John Ellis looking to do what John Plath did in the first half. The kick through. And there's no way known that he's put down with pressure on that ball. Good decision from Eddie Ward. Broncos now under three minutes, leading by two. And chance for Plath as he goes up over halfway. The only man to tackle him is Sattler, and he does just that. In fact, it's Driscoll tackled 35 metres out. As infield they come, Smith away to Sailor. Big step off the left foot. Tackled by Plowman, 20 out from the line. Well, six-pointer here would almost wrap it up for the Brisbane Broncos. They have to rally the crushers. They've taken a while to reform, and there's numbers to the left. Acro Julian O'Neill. Across the line, O'Neill goes himself. And what's more, brings it right round behind the sticks. And almost tackled in goal. But Brisbane skip out to a six-point lead, ten points to four. Weight of numbers told in the end, and Julian O'Neill has been able to bring it around to make it a very easy conversion. That will extend the lead further than a converted try. So how important was that miss from St. Ellis? Did everything right. Didn't lose his head towing the ball through the second time. Just unable to get his ball, the hand down on the ball. And O'Neill from right in front to convert his own try. Plenty of time with the kick, soaking up the seconds. And I think the Crushers fans too happy. He gets the extra two, and it's now 12 points to four. And the Crushers may need somewhat of a minor miracle if they're to win as Locke goes forward. It pops out the back into the arms of Collins. There is an overlap on the left. Singinellis runs out of room, though, trying to step Plath. Good tackle, John Plath on a bigger man. Collins across the line. Teven is back from the blood bin. And wrapped up. Eight inside the Broncos' half. Well, the Broncos have shown their credentials in this competition. There aren't going to be many games where the opposition are allowed to score four points. As Wendell Saylor shows what kind of defence has won them this game, putting Ellis over the sideline. And that's what wins Seven's competitions. It's not really the ability to score tries, it's to stop them. Enough ability in all of these teams to make sure that you score tries when you've got the football. Gee, it's tough after 12 or 13 minutes to keep the opposition out. And that ball comes back the way of the crushers. It may be too late. Plath comes over the top. The seconds ticking by as Collins throws the pass to Kraus. The ball on there to Weston. He stood in the tackle back to David Kraus. They come back in field through Simons. He straightens up the attack and straight into big Sean Keating. 25 out from the Broncos line. He plays it forward. Still going is Wayne Simons. And some good things, Wayne Simons, for the Crushers. And now they've lost the ball. That should just about be the end of the match for the Crushers as Khan brings it back over the 20. What, you still give him a chance, Henry? You want to get on with me? Oh. Ten seconds. A lead of eight. I think they can win, Brisbane. As Smith over the 20. Maybe the Broncos haven't finished the scoring. The ball comes... Back the way of O'Neill. Once again, for and against is important, but the Broncos have won by eight points the first time these two teams have met. 
the Brisbane Broncos have beaten their arch rivals, the South Queensland Crushers, by 12 points to four. And Gary Belcher is with the skipper of the Crushers, Mario Fennick, of course, not playing tonight in the sevens. I oh, am, yeah, and Mario, a little bit disappointing not winning the first match. Oh, it was a bit disappointing, but uh, I thought the turning point was that St. John Ellis, I thought, I thought should have scored the try, but didn't. And, uh, oh, it was very creditable for the boys, but uh, I'm sure that there's going to be a bit of rivalry between the Broncos and the Crushers. I can see there's a bit of furling out there, and uh, I look forward to the 13 a side game. It'll be great. I bet you can't wait. You've got a couple of injury problems straight up, Chris McKenna and Craig Steven. Yeah, uh, Chris McKenna tore a hamstring and uh, Tevin cut his head, so it uh, uh, goes to show you it, it is a bit of a physical game out there, but uh, I must say again, I look forward to the clash uh, when we play tackle against the Broncos. Can't emphasise it enough. Thanks, Mario. First time we've ever seen Mario smile after a loss, obviously. Brisbane weather doing him well.